So you want to start using more video in your classroom, but you're not really sure how to do it. Now there might even be some of you out there that don't see streaming video as a useful tool in the classroom. Actually, the principles aren't really that new. For decades now, whole industries have existed around providing educational media to learners across the globe. Whether it's in the primary and secondary classrooms, the collegiate level, or even into the job force, innumerable resources have been created for the sole purpose of learning. So when you think about it, the only thing that has really changed are the modes of delivery and access to great educational content. Gone are the days of using VHS in the classroom to show clips that were recorded from last night's PBS programming. Now content can be accessed by teachers and students inside schools, classrooms, and even at home. All that is required is an internet connection. During this presentation, I'm going to talk about a few of the sites that are out there for streaming video and how they can be used in education. For starters, let's talk about the infamous YouTube. Because YouTube is a community effort, it has been looked down upon for its use in education by some. Opponents to the use of YouTube in education would argue that YouTube contains enough offensive and non-educational material that it has no place in education. Unfortunately, that attitude fails to recognize that with the bad comes the good. In fact, every minute, over 20 hours of video is uploaded to YouTube. As an educator, it becomes your job to wade through and find the video clips that will support what you're teaching. While YouTube is the most popular and biggest collection of streaming video, there has been a shift taking place and many sites are popping up with the specific goal of providing only educational material for teaching and learning. In fact, because YouTube's popular embed feature has become so widely used, it's easy for anyone to start a collection of educational video clips that are hosted on YouTube but can appear in any website on the internet. One up-and-coming database of strictly educational content is watchno.org. While the majority of videos contained on this site are hosted with YouTube, every single video has been added by educators along with a description and category. By going to watchno.org and scrolling through the categories, educators can quickly get relevant collections of video clips on many content area topics. Another site that was created implicitly for educational use is TeacherTube. TeacherTube offers an excellent site for teachers and students to upload their own content. However, the website isn't as streamlined and optimized as YouTube, and the scale is of course much smaller. Last but certainly not least are paid subscription sites that offer educational content. For a monthly fee, or yearly, users can access and download video clips on many different educational topics. Two examples of these websites are unitedstreaming.com, which is put out by Discovery Education, and studybeat.com. One of the biggest advantages to sites like these is that they usually contain more detailed descriptions of the content, lesson plans, and supplemental lessons and materials to complement the video clips. Another advantage to paid subscription sites is that they often give discounted, site-wide licensed subscriptions. Check with your school or district to see if you already have access to any sites like these. Now all you have to do is go out and start looking for great educational video clips that will enhance what you already do in the classroom. Students will stay more interested and you'll be amazed at how much work is already done in creating great teaching materials. So what are you waiting for? Go out and get them. <laughs>